infinite parallel universes. So what the kid winds up with is this theory of like one atom weighing too much and weigh, and is that being just enough to shift our universe. It started with a 20 page document from a 14 year old super genius, Max Laughlin. It ended with the world's top physicists in a state of cold terror. The document claims that CERN's secret quantum AI pushed the Large Hadron Collider beyond its limits, creating something that should be impossible. A stable, 11-minute opening into a parallel universe. This wasn't a quest for the God Particle. It was a deliberate breach of our reality. Now, after his findings were discussed on Joe Rogan's podcast, the world is asking what really happened during those 11 minutes. Max Laughlin's Bombshell in the quiet, sterile halls where the universe's most profound secrets are probed, a 14-year-old boy named Max Laughlin dropped a bombshell that has left seasoned scientists grappling with disbelief and a chilling sense of dread. The thing nobody tells you is that while most kids his age are consumed by video games, Max Laughlin isn't most kids. By age 7, he was reportedly correcting university physics professors on quantum mechanics. By 10, he had allegedly constructed a working nuclear fusion reactor in his family's garage using parts he ordered online. His estimated IQ, soaring above 200, places him in a realm of intellect that makes figures like Stephen Hawking seem, to put it mildly, almost ordinary. For years, the scientific community watched him, mesmerized, wondering what monumental discovery he would unleash. No one, however, anticipated this. In a move that sent shockwaves across the internet, Max released a 20-page paper titled Interdimensional Transference via Quantum Entangled AI. This wasn't a collection of childish fantasies. It was a meticulously crafted report filled with dense quantum equations that top physicists are still struggling to fully decipher. The most shocking fact is his central claim. The Large Hadron Collider at CERN buried nearly 330 feet beneath the Franco-Swiss border, had succeeded in a mission that went far beyond particle physics. He alleged that for precisely 11 minutes, it had opened a stable gateway, a portal, to another dimension. Here's the kicker. Max Laughlin insisted it wasn't an accident. According to his astonishing account, for the past five years, CERN has been secretly developing a true quantum AI. This isn't the AI you hear about on the news, this is a machine that can process trillions of possibilities in a nanosecond. It was this AI, he stated, that identified the exact energy frequency needed to temporarily weaken the fabric of our reality. The AI commanded the massive 17-mile ring of superconducting magnets, chilled to a mind-numbing negative 456 degrees Fahrenheit, and fired beams of protons at 99.9% .9 the speed of light. The result, he declared, wasn't a new particle. It was a doorway. What many overlooked were the persistent reports of strange occurrences around CERN for years. Unexplained seismic tremors and bizarre electrical disturbances. Max's paper suggested these were the warm-up acts. He even included satellite data showing a massive, inexplicable energy surge at the exact moment he claimed the portal opened. CERN's official explanation? A minor power surge. But to Max, it was the biggest cover-up in history. This boy's claim was so audacious, it was bound to capture the attention of the world's most influential voices. When silence speaks volumes. In a world where mainstream media carefully curates the news, the most explosive ideas often ignite in the most unexpected places. There is no bigger megaphone for unconventional thought than the podcast of Joe Rogan, a platform that reaches more people in a single week than most major news networks combined. Rogan has built an empire on conversations that dare to go where official narratives won't. So, when Max Laughlin's claims about CERN's portal landed on his desk, it was only a matter of time before it hit the airwaves. But not all things are what they seem, and Rogan's reaction was far from what anyone expected. During a widely viewed episode with a prominent physicist, Rogan brought up Max's paper. The guest immediately chuckled, dismissing it as the brilliant fantasy of a child. He tried to explain it away with a wall of jargon, but Rogan wasn't laughing. He leaned into his microphone and after a long, intense pause, pulled up the 20-page paper on the screen, pointing not at the claims, but at the dense equations. 
In an uncharacteristically quiet and troubled tone, he said, Look, I'm just a dumb comedian, but I've talked to enough smart people to know when something looks different. This doesn't look like a joke. That single moment of validation was like pouring gasoline on a fire. The clip went viral. Suddenly, millions of people who had never even thought about CERN were asking a terrifying question. What if the kid is right? Rogan didn't endorse the theory, but he made it acceptable to ask the question. You see, this isn't the first time strange theories about CERN have surfaced. Many people are crazy about the 10-foot-tall statue of Shiva, the Hindu god of destruction, that stands outside CERN's headquarters. The official story is that it was a diplomatic gift. But why accept a statue of a deity who destroys universes only to recreate them? It seems, to put it mildly, a bizarre choice. Conspiracy circles have long claimed that CERN isn't just trying to understand the universe, but to manipulate it. Max Laughlin's claims, amplified by Rogan's massive audience, connected the dots for millions, suggesting that the wildest theories might contain a terrifying grain of truth. The world was now captivated, and the focus shifted from the boy to the colossal machine and its unsettling ancient connections. The Giza Connection Max Laughlin's story was already spiraling beyond the realm of modern science, but it was about to take an even stranger turn into the ancient past. Online investigators and independent researchers began digging, unearthing chilling connections between CERN and some of humanity's oldest enigmas. The narrative expanded from a scientific experiment into a conspiracy that seemed to span millennia. What many overlooked is just how deep these historical connections go. The most shocking fact is CERN's location itself. It sits on the site of a Roman town called Apollyacum, a place the ancients believed was a literal gateway to the underworld. Then came the startling connections to ancient alien theories and the Great Pyramids of Giza. For decades, theorists have argued that the pyramids were not tombs, but massive energy machines. They point to the impossibly precise mathematical alignments and the internal shafts aimed at specific star systems like Orion's Belt. The thing nobody tells you is that the Great Pyramid is built of dolomite limestone, which conducts electricity, and its shafts are lined with granite, a material known to ionize the air. The theory suggests an advanced ancient civilization, perhaps with extraterrestrial help, built a resonant cavity to harness Earth's natural energy fields, possibly to open their own portals. You can see this everywhere, in the eerie parallels between the immense power of the pyramids and the staggering energy generated by CERN's Large Hadron Collider. Were our ancestors attempting the same feat as modern CERN, but with stone and sound instead of magnets and particle beams? This is where the story descends into the rabbit hole. People began pointing to hieroglyphs and ancient texts from cultures across the globe. Depictions of gods descending from the sky in fiery chariots no longer seemed like myths. They looked like eyewitness accounts of advanced technology. Were the ancient gods merely interdimensional travelers? The Sumerian texts speak of the Anunnaki arriving from the heavens, and ancient Indian texts describe flying machines called Vemanas. All of these stories narrate a remarkably similar tale. Max Laughlin's claim about a quantum AI-controlled portal suddenly didn't sound new at all. It sounded like a terrifying echo of a dangerous technology humanity might have stumbled upon once before. The Unseen Consequences Let's bring this down to earth for a moment. For the people watching this, it's easy to dismiss these claims as wild speculation. Portals, quantum AI, ancient aliens, it sounds like a movie. You wake up, you go to work, you pay your bills, and the real world seems completely, stubbornly unchanged. The sun rises, the sun sets, and everything looks exactly as it did yesterday. But what if it isn't? What if the very rules of reality were quietly altered while we were all looking at our phones? Are we missing a key detail that's staring us right in the face? The thing is, if a doorway to another dimension was ripped open for 11 minutes, we can't be sure what might have come through, or what subtle changes it might have made to our world. Many people are obsessed with the Mandela Effect, the phenomenon where large groups of people remember historical events or details differently. They swear they remember Nelson Mandela passing away in prison in the 1980s. 
They have vivid memories of the cartoon being called the Berenstain Bears with an E, not the Berenstain Bears. They'll argue to their last breath that the rich Monopoly man wore a monocle, or that Darth Vader said, Luke, I am your father. But he never had a monocle, and the line was just, No, I am your father. What if these aren't just tricks of a faulty memory? What if they are the aftershocks of reality being subtly rewritten? Could a brief tear in the fabric of space-time cause these small, unsettling glitches in the universal source code? It's as if our timeline was merged with another, slightly different one, and we are left with the residual data of a world that no longer exists. And you can see these glitches everywhere if you look closely. There are reports of strange, unexplainable atmospheric phenomena on the rise, from bizarre, iridescent cloud formations that look like ripples in the sky, to unexplained booms that shake entire towns with no discernible source. Then, there's the infamous hum, a persistent, low-frequency drone heard by people in places as far apart as Taos, New Mexico, and Bristol, England. Scientists can't explain it, but what if it's the resonant frequency of another reality, bleeding through the weakened walls of our own? Then there are the technological glitches, which have become so common we barely notice them anymore. Have you ever had a private conversation with someone about a product, only to see ads for it seconds later on your phone, even though you never searched for it? The official explanation is that our devices are always listening. But what if it's something more profound? What if the very code of our digital reality is becoming intertwined with our thoughts in ways we can't explain? Perhaps the event didn't just affect physical space, but the digital space as well, making the barrier between consciousness and algorithm dangerously thin. But perhaps the most chilling theories are the ones that suggest things didn't just change, they came through. Reports of cryptid sightings, from the Mothman to creatures that defy description, seem to follow patterns of high-energy events. Could these beings be dimensional tourists, or worse, refugees, slipping through the cracks left behind by a careless experiment? People are increasingly reporting encounters with shadow people, dark humanoid figures seen in their peripheral vision, gone in a flash. Are these hallucinations, or are we catching glimpses of inhabitants from a dimension that now overlaps with ours, one that exists just outside our normal range of perception? Even our own sense of time seems to be warping. How many of us feel like time is accelerating, that the days and weeks are blurring together faster than ever before? This feeling, known as time compression, is often dismissed as a psychological trick of getting older. But what if it's not? A disruption in space-time could have fundamentally altered our perception of its flow. This could also explain the rise in reported cases of time slips, where individuals claim to have momentarily stepped into the past or future, witnessing scenes from another era before being snapped back to the present. Are these people crazy, or are they the canaries in the coal mine, sensitive to the lingering instability of our timeline? The most shocking fact is that these phenomena seem to have increased in frequency since the alleged CERN event. It's easy to laugh it off as a grand conspiracy. But what if Max Laughlin's portal didn't close cleanly? What if our reality is now leaking, or worse, merging with another darker one? We're left with this incredible, unbelievable story. A 14-year-old boy, a secret quantum AI, and a potential tear in the universe that was left open for 11 fateful minutes. Is it possible that this is the real story? The hidden explanation for the growing strangeness of our world? Or is it all just a work of fiction designed to distract us? The truth, whatever it may be, remains just out of reach, and we may already be living in the consequences. Could CERN have opened a door they can no longer close? Is our reality more fragile than we think? Let us know your thoughts below, and don't forget to like and subscribe.